this video, I'm going to show you the four things you need to do a stop motion sequence, just like the one you saw in the intro. Now, stop motion is basically a set of photographs where you move the elements around, basically mimicking their motion. This way you can turn any elements into a moving subject, turning your photographs into a video. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a subject to actually animate. Like in my case, I use this LEGO Technics Volvo excavator truck, which has a drone on top, which is really cool, but it doesn't really fly, so yeah. Now the second thing you're going to need is an environment where you have a constant light. Like in my case, I used the Nanlite Forza 60 with a big softbox, like the one I'm using right here. And I was doing this indoors, my TV was turned off and everything was kind of static. Now if you don't have a static lighting scene, that's going to be very visible from frame to frame and it's going to look like some lights are flickering in the background. It's going to ruin the whole thing. The third thing you're going to need is a camera. Now any camera that shoots photographs and where you can manually expose and set the focus is going to be just fine. And you can even do this with your cell phone or you know with any small action camera you don't need to have a big camera just pay attention that the exposure doesn't change that you don't move the camera and that you keep the focus on the subject i totally missed the last one because as you can see in this clip now the subject comes in and out of focus because i had my focus set to manual and i didn't adjust it with the subject so if you can use autofocus use autofocus it's going to be much easier and finally my recommendation is to use a remote trigger to fire the shots from a distance this way you can pay attention to the scene to the subject and you don't have to run back and forth and press the shutter button to take the photographs also minimizing the risk of actually moving or bumping the camera because that's going to ruin the whole thing you know it's like setting up dominoes and you bump one domino and then everything falls apart you have to start all over again so with stop motion it's kind of the same thing you know if you bump the camera you better start you know from scratch okay so let's now set up the light set up the camera set up the whole scene and start firing those photographs then we'll go into the editing software and i'll show you how you can further enhance your stop motion sequence making it more smooth and more kind of natural looking let's go Now we're going to do the stop motion sequence in DaVinci Resolve 17. I have the studio version, but you can do everything uh, in the free beta version. You can download this from blackmagic.com or something like that. And it's an awesome editing software. It's also a professional grade color grading software, which a lot of people use. Now the difference between the free and the paid version is that in the paid version, you can actually smooth things out a little bit more. You, know, you can polish things out a little bit better. You can use your graphics card a little bit more efficiently and you can add motion blur and stuff like this. But to do a stop motion sequence, you don't need any of that as you will see as we progress. So let's dive in. So these are the photographs that I took. And as you can see, there were 307 of them. Now I already have my project set up and I'm, I have a couple of bins over here. I'm going to put these photographs into my clips bin. If I select everything, go into my edit tab, select everything, put that into my timeline. You can see now the stop motion sequence over here. Now the problem is that if I zoom in, you can see that every photograph takes about five frames to playback. Now I need to make every photograph, every frame, just one frame long. Now you can do this if you just select everything, control A, control D to change the duration. And instead of time, choose the frames and set one frame. So now every clip, every photograph is going to be exactly one frame long. Now you can delete then uh, the gaps in between, edit, delete gaps, and now you have a full on stop motion sequence and that's it you just render this out and you have a video clip but i want to make everything appear a little bit slower and a little bit more smoother so in this case i'm actually going to have to render this out and then import the video clip back in in order to add these effects so let me show you how that is done okay so let's render this thing out as the first clip uh, i'm gonna render this out as stop motion clip number one uh, to my desktop and I have here the settings mp4 h.265 I'm going to use my nvidia graphics card to render this out 4k 25 frames per second best bitrate quality and I'm going to render out every frame so I'm not going to let the codec compress things too much I'm actually going to have every frame in the video sequence so let's add this and let's just render this out now once this is rendered I can actually go back and delete all of these frames and import my stop motion video clip 
Okay, so let's put this clip into the timeline and you can hear my computer buzzing because it's already working a little bit hard. But this is the sequence that we've made. So it's a little bit too fast. I want it to be a little bit smoother. So in order to do this, I'm gonna to have to slow everything down and add the missing clips in between or the missing frames in between because now this is played back with 25 frames per second. But if I slow this down to let's say right over here in the inspector, I can go to my change speed and if I slow this down to 10 frames per second, you will now see that things are moving a little bit slower and there are actually frames missing in between. This is kind of a typical stop motion uh, sequence that you typically see on YouTube where people are animating Lego stuff. Now in order to blend the frames in between, I'm going to use this function over here. So I'm going to use the optical flow and I'm going to use speed warp. Now speed warp is only available in the studio version. Uh, in the beta version, you have everything up to enhance better. Speed warp is not here. So enhance better already does a good job. Now in most cases, but you can see that there are some artifacting uh, happening. So like right over here, you can see right here, you can see that this just kind of looks a little bit weird. Now if I change this to speed warp, things are going to look much better. Okay, so I'm going to change this now to stop motion zero two, and I'm going to use a full HD timeline this time, full HD render, again, everything as it was before. Okay, so now we've made a video clip which is a little bit slower and I have the missing frames in between, so things are going to be a little bit more smoother as well. And let's put this back into uh, the project and add this into our timeline like this. So this is now the rendered out video with speed warp and you can see now it's, it's actually quite smooth, you know, it's a lot more smoother than what it was before if I put in the first clip. Now you can see here this one was a lot slower, this one was a lot choppier and if I turn this thing off, this is then the underlying one. So the original one and then the speed warp one, much smoother. But we can go further from here. We can actually add camera effects and a little bit of motion blur to actually sell this whole thing a little bit better. So let me show you how this is done. Now we go to the effects and I'm going to just search here my motion blur right over here. I'm going to add this, but I'm not going to add too much. If I go to my effects, I can actually change the amount. So I'm going to choose the better of the two and I'm going to reduce this uh, just so that it doesn't really look really weird. So just a little bit, I think around 10% 10, 10 is going to be just right. So this now adds motion blur to the whole sequence, making it a little bit more natural. And on top of that, we're going to add some camera motion to really sell this whole thing a lot better. So effects, adjustment clip, and I'm going to add the effect to so this adjustment clip on top. So I can basically change my transform. I'm gonna start off somewhere like this. Just close this down and keyframe this. Then go here, maybe zoom out a little bit. Then go over here, position this. And I'm, I'm just going to shuffle shuffle the camera around a little bit uh, in order to mimic camera motion. And here you can see the final version. I've added a little bit of a color grade on top of it to make it look a little bit more professional. Now we have smoothing, we have motion blur, and it actually looks a lot more natural. It's not that stop motion-y like it was in the beginning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. If you did, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave that down in the comment section. I would love to answer all of that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.